My name is Robin and I am the outreach worker for Street Life Ministries. This is an encampment behind me. Each encampment is like its own little community. They have somebody that's sort of like the boss in charge of everything. We're at the pg e substation out here and we're going to walk toward veterans alongside 101. Yes, people do live alongside 101. You just don't see them. Be prepared. You, you're going to ask yourself, how, people, how could people live like this? They live like this because they don't have a choice. They have no place to live, know where to go, and so this is what they do. I, I should rephrase that. They do have a choice. They just don't know they have choices. So I used to live right there, right up there. Right under the bridge right there? Right there. Oh. So now we're going to be walking around 101. Here's the thing, see all the trash? It's not the homeless, it's people when they find out they have a place to go dump their trash, they'll come and they'll dump it right here. You'd be surprised what some of these homeless people have out here. I've gotten some of the best presents from these guys. Jerry! As you know, they put up their own exit and enter. It's pretty fancy, Jerry put this up. This is another encampment and they usually put up some kind of barrier around their encampment because it's their house. Just as you would put up a fence around your house, they put up a barrier around their houses. Hi, Papa, come here. This is Papa. Come here, Papa. What are you doing? How you been? You still running away? Where's your daddy at? He's a beautiful, beautiful creature of God, aren't you, Papa? Papa, that's Tommy. You'll be on National Geographic. Hi, Papa. Come here. Go get the ball. Go get the ball, Papa. Go get the ball. Go get the ball. <laughs> so, as you can see, the biggest problem we have is the garbage. It's hard, you know. So we, you know, make it get Papa. No, that's not <laughs> yours. That's not a toy, Papa. That's not a toy. Angel! Richard! Richard! Are you home? Richard! Hello. Hey! What's happening? How are you doing? How are you doing, my man? This is Richard. This is the uh, El Gapo of this community. Hey, this Tommy. You know Tommy, he's from Street Life Ministries. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I, think yeah, I didn't see you come get some. Um, Oh, you have a cat. Yes. How does three. Papa like the cat? Three, three, three. Venga, mm. Cecil. Venga. Does Papa like the cat? Does Papa like the cat? No. No? <laughs> Papa don't like the cat? He's basically, basically he doesn't commit any crimes. He tries to tell, lead people not to do such things. That's oh. what he stands for. Oh, that's why we awesome. love him. That's awesome. Um, and he settles a lot of people like the negotiator fighting. He looks after people's stuff. He's a great guy. Mm. Whenever I have a homeless woman who just rolled into town and doesn't have any people, you know what I mean? I send her to him mm. because I know she'll be safe, you know, and that he's, he's right. You know what I mean? Like he has good heart. He's not mm. going to, you know, you know what I mean? Take they get, yeah, he's not going to take advantage of him or mm. anything. It's really hard. Mm. I mean, I know the, the streets were dangerous but no they're mega dangerous yeah. it's like you know every day you have to hassle to, to go get your food free mm. and, uh, but it's hard, it's mm. hard you know, especially for, for women mm. you know, it's hard to go get water it's hard to you know get rid of your garbage it's hard to you know uh, stay clean mm. it's hard to uh, take a shower you know that's one of the things that i miss the most taking showers mm. okay. sometimes i cannot do it every day but you know I try. Me, honestly, I'm, I'm working my way out of here. I don't steal, and I have a lot. All this, all you see over here, machines, huh? bicycles, all, all of the tents, everything is being given to me. Do you feel like you've, you've learned a lot getting to spend all this day. time by yourself? Yes, yes. Yeah. See, like I said, you know, I didn't think I was gonna survive like three months. Yeah. Thanks to the, the help of everyone, you know, 
it's been two years already. And I came, you know, top rank because, you know, I respect everyone, you know, mm -hmm. I go and try to help when they have issues, mm -hmm. about something that is still to each other. And I go, you know, it's not worth it. Violence creates more violence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so I even come to Richard when I have issues. And also, you know, I have people that have disrespect me, I also put them in their place, you know, mm -hmm. without getting physical, mm -hmm. a certain point, and they listen. But some mother they didn't care, so I have to use a little of <laughs> That's right. They know I don't, I don't play around. You know? But if you need parts for bicycles, I have, I don't know how I got so many bicycles everywhere, frames and everything. Whatever they come and look for, they find it. They find it over here. Really? And I don't charge It's them. like a local bike I shop. Exactly. I don't, I don't tell them, you know, I, uh, do you have any weed or then you, you know, smoke a joint with me or, no, no, I give them free. Hmm. Why do you, why do you do that? Why do it for free? Because I got them free. Why should I charge with something that I got it for free? That's fair. That's fair. Is helping people, is that like a passion of yours? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Like mm -hmm. I say, my reward is when I see the big smile that you get. You know? For example, they come, but Richard, you know what? There is this unique bike that needs this part, or whatever. And I go like, let me see. So I start looking around, and all of a sudden I go like, oh, I think I have it. And they go say, no, you have it? Wow. <laughs> they get so happy. Like, now I can go sell it. You know? God bless yeah. you, brother. I appreciate hey, well, you. Rodrigo? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, sorry. Ricardo. Ricardo. Yeah. Ricardo. I'm Richard. Tommy. Nice to meet you, man. Are you gonna be at Street Life tonight? What? You gonna be at Street Life tonight? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'll see you there. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Hey, you're Tommy. Sure. Nice to meet you. Okay. Done. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Nice meeting you. See you later. Hey, great bye. meeting you, man. Tonight. I'll see you tonight. I'll see you tonight. Are there any other areas here you wanna okay. show us? Um, there are, but I have to pee so bad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's. Is there a bathroom nearby? No. <laughs> really? Really? Are you serious? So where do, where do you usually go then if you, if, you're, if you live out here? Well, they go out here in the bushes. They squat and pee. Yeah. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I don't do that anymore. I mean, Seems like Ricardo does a lot of nice things for people. He does. He does. He sort of like, um, he sort of kind of took my place out here, mm -hmm. if, if you will, you know? I mean, there's a lot of nice people out here, but Ricardo goes, tries, he goes out of his way, you know? He's always thinking of the other person. He said it'd be, it'd be hard for him to leave because his family's out here. Right. That's why I had a hard time, Amy. If I quit this job, who's going to help them? You have to have really thick skin to do this. Mm. Because, you know, you, there's some people who who don't, you know, don't want your help. They, because they just, for one reason or another, you know, sometimes it's mental health issues, sometimes it's addiction issues, you know, eventually they'll fall, but it's just watching them, you know, knowing that that's going to happen, that they have a choice, but they're just not ready to take it yet. So you have to be there for when they do, you know, or when they are ready. That's mm. another encampment over there that's on that. Oh, let's we'll show you behind the corridor, what they call the corridor. Okay. So this is underneath the train track. So that's one side of 101. Then you come to this side. And at night time, you know, you can hear things under here. What do you hear? Like, some people say they hear voices and there's somebody there. I say it's the demons. It must As things have happened under here. What's your name? What's up with it? I'm doing a vapor out here. I need breathing. What are you doing? What are you making? I'm trying to get the battery out of here so I can put a breathing under my vapor. Are you serious? The 1850 Samsung battery. Wow. Yeah. How would you get it out of there? I was just chilling. Yeah. You know, is this plastic? Yeah, plastic. Oh, you know. Um, when I was doing this at IHOP one time, I used a uh -huh. metal screwdriver. It was like, uh -huh. this is like spark splitter. So. Wow. Angel. This time. Damn. Oh man. <laughs> what up with it? Where are you going? No, I just came from there. Tommy, this is Angel. I want to help. This is Angel. Oh, fuck, man. 
Angel, this is Tom. What's up, Angel? Nice to meet you. for Street Life Ministries. All right. Yeah. Angel's kind of like he's like, you know, the homeless, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. police. He makes everything right. Ah. <laughs> All right, Angel. All right, see I'll see you when you come into church. All right. Come get some God, All Angel. Right. I keep telling y'all. Nice okay. Come All get right. some God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, don't, don't, don't hurt your thumb trying to do that. You know, you pound, 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 pound. Come on, baby. What's up with it? What's up, baby? Huh? <laughs> Shit. All right, hey. Hey, Toledo, you better come to church. Shit. <laughs> it's, probably, it's pretty unethical. It's probably for most Christians. I know they're going to go, what the heck? But you know, I'm not a little orphan Annie, and I don't run around with checkers in a boat. <laughs> that doesn't work out here. You know? That's how we talk. I mean, that's, that's how it is. They would look at me and I was like I was crazy if I acted like that. But they know they're going to see me every day. You know? You're out here every day. Because I'm out here every day. You got to be. That's how you get, you know, that's how you get them to trust you. And eventually, one of them's going to come say, hey, Rama, I, I need your help with something. It happens all the time, you know, all the time. Like, like one of the youngsters I, I, you know, I've been lecturing for a good year. He, uh, he came to me and goes, I'm ready to get my life together, Robin. I go, for real? He goes, yep, I'm ready. He's ready, you know. This is a little, this is a kid that's been running around in gangs, you know, that type of thing. And, you know, you can't push them. You just sit, you just have to be there for either when they fall or when they're ready to get right. It's not easy. As you, as you can see, it's not easy being out here. You know, every day's a struggle for them. Every day. But I come out here, I don't talk about my personal business. I don't criticize them. Yeah, if they do something wrong, I'll be the first one to slap them in the head, pull them by the ear, you know, because that's what they expect me to do. If I come out here and go, oh, Angel, that was terrible. You should have never done that. He's going to look at me and go, something's wrong with mom. I don't know, somebody gave her some bad dope or something. She's smoking again or something, you know? You have to keep it real. This is who I am. This is what I do, and I do it because God put me here to do it. And eventually, it starts happening where you get a success story. And for me, a success is somebody who, who, who gets housed, you know? Of course, there's a lot more than just getting housed, a lot. You know, you could be out here for years and they stick you in an apartment and you, you, don't, you, you can't live in it mm. because you don't know how to. Look, I had to put a tent in my apartment so I could sleep, because I didn't hear the sound of carts, you know, shopping carts. I didn't hear people going, fuck you, motherfucker. You know, or I didn't hear the train at night. I didn't hear nothing. There was nothing. I couldn't sleep. You know, it, it, it was hard. It took me about a year. You know, I would come down here and not want to go back up to my apartment. Who does that? That's what happens when you become homeless, you know? Homeless people are, are, are they're just like you. The only difference is they don't have a solid foundation. When I say solid foundation, I mean a building over their head and a foundation where they can stand on. Like people who support them, who help them. They're just like you. Any of you could become homeless. Look at me, I come from a good family. And I come from a family of gangsters. And I'm homeless. So see, it doesn't just happen to like poor people or people from the ghetto. Every walk of life, it happens. One day it could happen to you. So I suggest when the next time you see a homeless person, don't look down at them. Smile at them and ask, tell them to have a blessed day. You'll feel a whole lot better.